Hi folks, welcome to the Rockwood Mountain Gardener. This video is uh, about um, the winter sow uh, garden. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done it, but I've seen it on uh, YouTube. Actually, a, a uh, person that uh, viewed my video asked me about the uh, winter sow gardening. So here I am taking and um, I've got a plastic bottle, actually it's two liter bottles that I use. I take all the paper off of them and I take and put um, um, holes in the bottom for drainage and I don't cut them all the way in two. I leave a little bit about three inches up from the bottom of the bottle uh, for a hinge and here I'm taking and putting compost. I've got a mixture of compost and uh, uh, sphagnum peat moss mixed together and uh, right here I've got a milk jug uh, that I'm taking and, uh, and using but anyway I'm just putting compost, uh, homemade compost in this and uh, I've never tried this before, and I'm taking and seeing what, uh, uh, seeing what, how it works out for me. So I just take and all of these jugs, they're they got holes, drainage holes on the bottom, and um, I'm going to take and sow some uh, broccoli and some cabbage and and just as a test and see what uh, see what happens. So the ideal is you just take these jugs and you just take them and, and uh, put them out in, uh, in the weather or whatever you want to take and do with it. Um, you can uh, put it, you can uh, put it uh, in the greenhouse, you can set it on the ground. And here I'm watering, uh, and I always label everything. I try to keep good records. I take and um, um, make sure that uh, everything is labeled. Uh, keep up with it uh, uh, in a little book that I've got that I carry with me in my garden of things that I do. Um, I'm not putting very many seeds in this, uh, just, just a few. Uh, I will say some of these seeds I'm using they are they are old so the germination test on it uh, uh, might not be so good but anyway uh, just something I'm trying and if you see here I'm sprinkling some sand I sifted fine sifted some uh, just regular sand and I sprinkle that on top of my uh, seeds to cover them up with and uh, it seems to help with the uh, the fruit flies and uh, here I've speeded things up a little bit just to uh, uh, you know just show you what I'm doing but just to, so I don't bore you too much with the video but uh, I've got uh, three containers here that I'm doing uh, I think I'm sowing broccoli and and cabbage and and some lettuce. I've got some onions I'm putting out. I've, I've still got some onion sets left over from uh, last year. I always buy about five or six pounds of onion sets, but I've still got some left. Uh, anyway, I take uh, clear shipping tape. This tape is old. I've had it for years. As a matter of fact, it came from uh, uh, Oshkosh um, back in the 90s and uh, so it uh, messed up on me uh, as usual uh, but I always take I take and uh, water water it in good and I put tape around it and you can just take and set this anywhere you can set it on the ground it can snow on it whatever whatever you know put it in the greenhouse you can even take and put it in your house um, but now then um, also you see that uh, uh, I've got these sitting on top of my uh, uh, Emma greenhouse. I've got two containers sitting on top of my mini greenhouse. Uh, so it's going to get the cold weather and everything. Um, 
Also, uh, I've got uh, some experiments in the gallon jug. I've got uh, uh, onion sets. I got cabbage and broccoli set out. These, the weather is going to get in. The rain uh, will take and go through the hole in the top. Uh, keep everything moist. Here, I'm. Uh, I've got some broccoli and cabbage seeds. Uh, I sowed some directly in the ground, and I just uh, put. Uh, uh, clear jug over the top of them and uh, we'll see what happens with it uh, I've got an old shower door that uh, that I found uh, at the dump mark anyway uh, kind of keep the wind from off of it uh, off the plants we'll see what happens thanks for watching the video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe and as always, happy gardening and 